I know it's only a, a small sample size at this point, but, but what have you seen from your group and how have you liked the way that they've integrated between the rookies and the vets? Yeah, it, it's been great to see those guys work together and start to build on that chemistry as an offense. And you know, we're, uh, we're just in the early process of this, but it, it's been fun to watch those guys work. I like the work ethic. I like how hard they've been trying to refine the details and you know, come together and get to know one another as teammates. Tim Wyatt. Pat, I'm curious, like, how did you find out officially that you that the team was getting Julio and then what might his addition mean, uh, you know, for the offense? Yeah, we have a communication system in place with, with Coach Brabel and, and John and, you know, that, that worked down to me. So you know, I got the news as, as I was here at work and excited about it and certainly was uh, good news to hear. We're on. Yeah, Coach Todd, with you having, you know, Julio and then all these other weapons, you know, how do you go about addressing the whole concept of, of maybe not having enough balls to, to, to go around? Yeah, I don't, I don't look at it quite like having enough uh, football to go around. You know, each week's going to present its own uh, opportunity and challenge from defenses that we face. And, you know, each week's going to require something different to play winning football. And, and that's what our job is as an offense is to play complementary and winning football. And I believe the addition of Julio and, and having weapons uh, on the outside and in the backfield and at the line of scrimmage, those are all just ways uh, to help us stay uh, balanced, you know, to help us uh, to attack in different ways. And, uh, and, and that's, you know, that's our biggest uh, chart. It's not you know, to make sure there's certain uh, Mouths are fed and all that. It's it's a week by week proposition. Paul, Todd, um, lack of one on ones in a camp like this, uh, kind of a new development. Uh, I know you'll take what you can get, but did, did you miss something like that? Would it have been good for your guys, particularly, uh, to to get that work? Yeah, you know, I think any work that we can get uh, is good work, obviously. And like you mentioned, we'll take what we can get. You know, we were able to get some good uh, full speed stuff in, in the seven on seven and, and, you know, be able to work some of that process as well. Uh, you know, I, I love one on ones because you get a chance to go watch guys compete. Uh, but we weren't able to do that at this time. And so we made our adjustments and, and got better where we could. Teresa. Todd, with the addition of Julio, the offense such that he kind of fits into what you've already kind of been planning to do this year, or do you maybe go to the drawing board and it's like this guy gives us a chance to maybe do some extra things with the offense? Well, you know, when you're dealing with a skill set like his, I, I think there's certainly times that you get excited about uh, maybe something that he could do or, or has shown over his career that he can do. Uh, but we don't change our foundation, our scheme, uh, just for, you know, the addition of a player, you know, I'm excited that he has history in a scheme like this in his time in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, I think that that's going to help transition a little bit and it's going to you know make it a little bit easier for us to highlight some of those uh, skills that he has and in different ways that he's done in the past. Gentry. Yeah, Todd, you, you've talked before about, you know, not, not a priority to put your own stamp on the offense and not trying to be Arthur as well. When you're talking about what a, a Todd Downing offense looks like, it, how close was that in your your mind to what the offense is now? Meaning, you know, are we expected? Is this a matter of tweaks, or, or do you do you really feel as though you know there's an ideal out there that uh, that you can bring to this? You know, I'll, I'll leave it to you to call it a Todd Downing offense. This is a Tennessee Titans offense. And, you know, I want this to be the most effective offense uh, for helping us win football games. And whatever that means week to week, you know, it'll, it'll adjust. Uh, my vision for this offense is simply that we are, you know, a disciplined, high effort, high energy, you know, sound football team. And that we go out and, and help our team win ball games by not doing stuff to get ourselves beat. And uh, the rest of it's going to fall into place. As I said, it turns into a, a week by week thing. But this certainly isn't a Todd Downing offense. It's a Tennessee Titans offense. Joe Rexroad. Yeah, Todd, kind of followed up on Teresa's question. I mean, would you would you say that 
you know, those three guys in particular are, um, I, I guess, an elite trio, an extreme trio for, for the other side to look at on a given week. Um, how much of an advantage could it be? And, and what do you think you'll see, you know, from defensive coordinators this year in terms of trying to adjust to that? Yeah, I don't really get into ranking uh, trios or, or groups of players that I've, I've coached or I'm coaching now against anybody else in the league. You know, our, our goal is to be better each day that we go out there. And my hope is that those three grow together with the rest of the uh, skill guys on offense and that they you know, create a bond and a cohesion with the offensive line and with Ryan, uh, you know, and that they're able to accomplish their own personal goals um, you know, through a selflessness to the team. And, you know, that's, that's my biggest challenge for those guys and for myself included, you know, how defenses want to play us. I'm, I'm sure we'll get some different looks. I'm sure we'll get some unscouted things and, and possibly some looks that we wouldn't have gotten if uh, Julio wasn't here, but you know, our job as a staff is to put together a sound game plan each week and, and we'll try to be ready for uh, whatever they throw at us. Two more, John Glennon. I was going to ask you about the I'm sorry, John. I'm having a, a tough time. Of long hearing. shots, kind of the tryout guy. Okay. Any any better? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you about a couple of the the long shot guys, the tryout guys, uh, Adam Kuhn and and Hassan French. Wonder if you've dealt with with guys like that before that you know hadn't played college football and and sort of the challenge, you know, at the same time you're trying to get a team and an offense ready, uh, but you're also trying to basically teach these guys a lot. Also, how do you you know how do you go about doing that? Yeah, I, I was telling this story uh, to a couple guys earlier today. Uh, but early in my career, when I was with the Vikings, I was on the staff when uh, Brock Lesnar tried out in training camp. So, it's especially my second former wrestler uh, that I've been around. But, you know, the, both those guys have an incredible work ethic. Uh, you know, they're both in really good shape. Obviously, uh, you know, they're both hungry. They're both high character individuals. They're working really hard to learn the positions and learn our scheme. Um, you know, and, and I'm excited for them and their opportunity. Both of them are approaching it in a very professional manner. And you can tell that, uh, you know, they, it's no accident that both of them had success in their respective other sports. Uh, we'll see where it goes from there. You know, like I said, uh, guys that are working hard and will have an opportunity. So excited to see what they do. With it. Last question, Ben Arthur. Hey, Todd, in, in what ways does, you know, kind of adding a, a star receiver of Julio's caliber uh, maybe open up um, the playbook for you just because of kind of the, the coverages that you guys may see this year? I think that, you know, remains to be seen a little bit. Uh, but certainly when you add a, a weapon of his caliber, it creates uh, some fun opportunities in, from a game planning standpoint and, and gives you a little bit more flexibility. Uh, so we're, you know, we're excited about that, but I'm also excited about the rest of the guys and how hard they've been working at the wide receiver position. You know, Josh Reynolds has been in here every day working, and you know, those other guys, Marcus Johnson, you know, and Chester Rogers, and, you know, all those guys are, are out there, you know, working extremely hard. Cody Hollister's been working his tail off, all, all those guys uh, that have put in the work, um, Freddie Brown, all those guys, you know, it's, uh, I'm excited to see what they can do, and I think that with that competition, that room, we can finish with a, a well-rounded uh, position. Thank you.